Let me welcome our next inventor. Come on over here, uh, Anne. <laughs> So I got the idea for the e-drink mm -hmm. um, when there were two main problems that my fellow teenage friends... Mm -hmm. I'm Sharon, this is Monique Miss Teen Africa and today we're here with Anne who is one of the speakers at TEDx and today she did an amazing motivational speech. So Anne, we just want to ask you, how did you really get into um, what you do? Um, it kind of started when I was very young that I wasn't given a lot of toys so I would have to make my own. Um, and it kind of started from there that I'd like take garbage from around the house and piece them together with a glue gun, things like that. And what would your advice be to people who are maybe in unprivileged um, countries and they want to do what you do but they don't really know how to start or how to do it? My advice would be one, use whatever you have. You don't need to have the best equipment, but use whatever you have and just come up with the craziest ideas and try to do them. And two, reach out to all the adults you can possibly think of that might have some sort of resource that you could use. Because when you're a student and when you're younger, you, you might be intimidated by adults, but actually they are so willing to help you out in whatever you ask them for because they see a younger version of themselves in you and they will want to help you. So don't be afraid. That's amazing. Also, one thing we want to ask you is, um, what's something that you do every day to keep yourself motivated? You know, somebody's watching this and they're like, I don't really have the motivation to do what I want to do, but what really keeps you like motivated? Like, I can carry on and do whatever I want to do. Um, I think a lot of it comes from, I wouldn't say faking it till you make it, but if you ever don't feel good or you don't feel motivated, just like, just like be confident, like do a like, crazy walk and like look at yourself in the mirror and smile and be like, you're awesome because you're so unique from every single like individual person you'll ever meet. And another thing I do, which is weird, is I like meditate for like 10 minutes every day. I listen to like those guided meditations on YouTube. I usually fall asleep because I'm like really tired while I'm doing it, but that definitely helps me concentrate and really appreciate what I have. And I've never had a phone and I've been very privileged to live in a beautiful and beautiful island of Victoria of Vancouver Island, where everyone there basically has phones. And that means I lived through all of high school and middle school without a phone. How many here who are in high school live without a phone? Put up your hand. How would you say you juggled everything though? Because obviously you were a student and you had your studies and you had your things to do. So how would you say for you, how did you manage to get your time together to do everything that you wanted to do? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I definitely would say that it was quite a struggle, especially you know, with traveling all over the place and also working on my own stuff that was extracurricular. Also with schoolwork, you know, in your final years of high school, you know, you're like, oh my god, university, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I definitely did sacrifice quite a lot of my grades and things like that and social activities to pursue what I have been doing, but I don't regret it at all. One of the things you said in your speech was that you knew that in school you wasn't really like the cool kid. And like I feel like some youth who have African heritage can feel like they're a bit different or they're a bit like they don't really fit in with the crowd and whoever, but how would you say for you, like how did you overcome being different and being who you are? I didn't overcome being different. I think I still am different. Or I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm special and different, but I think I'm always trying to be different. Um, I would say I grew more confident in who I was by, actually, I was watching a YouTuber, Tyler Oakley, who I love. His personality is huge. He actually, like, inspired me a lot in my presentations. But I remember one quote he said in particular was that, at the end of the day, people are so concerned on how they're coming across is that they're not judging you as much as you think they are. And for some reason, I was like, oh my god, I'm free. And I just like, I was like, no, I can do whatever I want. And yeah, it kind of went from there. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your Thank interview. You so, much. so we've asked her questions and we've got some amazing answers. We hope that you've really been motivated. Thank you.